What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Big Hands. I hope you're having a great day. Um, in this effect here, um, in this video here, I'm going to go into effect and then uh, um, do the tutorial on it. Um, little effect I just came up with not too long ago. Nothing like having a little random brain fart and putting the uh, idea to video. I even bypassed the paper. Um, so it's going to look something like this. All the cards are random. Completely impromptu. Minus the jokers in there. Probably see some jokers. Like. Oh. Whatever that thing is. Put that out to the side. So normal cards. Um. Spectator has a choice. They say stop there. Okay, we'll give it to the blink card. Try it again. Do it again. Spectator has a choice of a card. They choose the uh, Ten of Clubs. Ten of Clubs goes on top of the deck. We'll get it shuffled into the deck. And then I'm gonna give it one more. So to prove it's not on the top or the bottom, right? So there's one of the jokers I was telling you about. So we'll take those two cards. Get them lost somewhere in the deck. Right? Take the deck, put it back in the box. Uh, close the box, give the box a little shake. Hopefully that does something magical. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take out one card, which is hopefully your chosen card or the spectator's card. So in this effect here, um, basically you got to get the, the card to the top or the bottom. Doesn't matter. So what I did was the uh, milk shelf that we've been learning. We'll use that ton of clubs again. And of course, I did the milk shuffle. And I just started shuffling cards. Uh, holding those bottom two cards. Bottom uh, stack of cards. So the ton of clubs in the second position now. On the bottom. And I showed the bottom card. On the top card. Right? And I put these two cards in the bottom somewhere in the deck. It doesn't matter. So now the uh, selection is on the bottom. And then what I did was, towards the, the non-face of the box, I put the face of the cards away from it. So it looks like that, away from the flap. And then with a slight pinch, see how those two cards towards the back lift up? And what I did was take the flap and put it behind the first card. So you can obviously see it there. And then just for presentation, I shook the hell out of it, right? Hopefully the box is something magical. And what I did was just pretty much lightly grab the back of it, right? And I pulled a little bit. Looks like I randomly pulled a card out um, and it shows the spectator's card. So what I would recommend, like I did, Put the faces towards away from the front of the box so when you do pull it out and that's what the spectator sees but in a faster motion at least they see the back first then you do the hesitate thing and then it's right so it could be signed no problem uh you just basically gotta get that card in second position prove the uh card is not on top of the bottom put the faces of the cards towards the back of the box um, do the pinch so it lifts up one card put the flap behind that one card so it looks like that and then however you want to present it 
So it even still looks like the pack is closed, right? And then you just, so that was basically it. Um, well, look at that. The, the back of the card matches the back of the box. I just happened to throw it on there perfectly. So that's something I'm going to call a nifty box. Uh, I know I got a video on another um, uh, effect to do with a box, which is probably even cooler than this, in my opinion, because it was like one of the first box effects I learned and one of the first, first few magic tricks I learned. But um, hope you all enjoyed that and we'll do it again.